This is KION News Channel 546 at 6. Our top story tonight, California lawmakers signed that massive $6.6 billion plan to get more kids in the classroom by the end of this month. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Aaron Groff. Governor Newsom is expected to sign the bill tomorrow. Under the plan, districts in the purple tier are asked to bring back at least transitional kindergarten through second grades by the end of March. In the red tier, all elementary school grades have to return plus at least one grade each in middle and high school. For every instructional day, districts don't meet the standards. Their eligible relief goes down by 1%. This push comes after CDC reports show that chances of spread at schools are low if proper precautions are taken. But that doesn't mean there is no possibility of spread, and parents and staff certainly have their concerns without the vaccine. KION's Jocelyn Ortega joins us from Salinas, where more educators are finally getting their shot. I spoke with one parent who says although she believes that every individual is within their right to choose whether or not to get the vaccine, she hopes that educators and care providers will keep their children's safety in mind when making that decision. This five-year-old Salinas preschooler says she was happy to hear the news of the vaccines for teachers and can't wait to get back into the classroom. I like to learn. I like to go to school and to, and to Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Sunday. Her mother, Angela, although excited about the news of schools reopening and vaccinations for teachers, says she still has concerns. Today, nearly 600 people, including early childhood care providers, were able to receive their vaccines at Natividad. At hospital, which Angela says will give her some peace of mind. It feels um, a lot safer because they will be in more contact with the kids, um, as well as just knowing that they are going to be safe themselves, you know, because they're going to be exposed too. The staff at Hearts and Hands Child Care and Preschool in Salina says some of them have already received their vaccine. Site director Michelle Scogan says many parents raised concerns throughout the pandemic about possible spread, something Scogan says remains a big factor in why she chose to get the vaccine herself. I work at a, in a center and my grandkids are elsewhere and so I want to be able to visit them and feel comfortable without thinking that I'm bringing something to them. Scogan says her school is now at capacity and is seeing an increase in enrollment. In addition to staff members being able to get the vaccine, safety protocols like the face mask mandate will continue to be followed. Kids are not required to wear them. However, we do have plenty of kids that do. I've had parents come in and tell me, I hope you guys continue the mask thing because this is the healthiest my children have been in a long time. The CDC also states studies have shown there have been minimal virus transmissions in schools where health guidelines were followed, even in communities where transmissions were high. County school and health officials continue laying out their plans to arrange more vaccines. More information on appointment resources and locations can be found on our website, KION546.com. In Salinas, Jocelyn Ortega, KION News Channel 546.